Regions Chemistry. Objectives. Describe the course. Identify the laboratory requirements for the course. List the materials recommended for the course. Describe the classroom expectations. And finally, explain the grading policy. What is this course about? Regents Chemistry is a two-credit course designed to provide an explanation of the world around us, knowledge, understanding, and skills necessary for mastering the New York State Regents Chemistry exam, and a foundation for pursuing chemistry in college leading to a career in the sciences. What are the topics in this course? The course is made up of 14 units and takes place over 40 weeks. There's math and lab skills, matter, atomic concepts, periodic table, bonding, formulas and equations, moles and stoichiometry, solutions, kinetics and equilibrium, acids and bases, oxidation and reduction, organic chemistry, nuclear chemistry, and finally, regions review. In addition, there is a midterm exam and a final exam, including the regions exam. What are the laboratory requirements in order to take the New York State Chemistry Regents exam? The New York State Regents requires students to complete a minimum of 1,200 minutes of laboratory experience with satisfactory reports on file in order to take the New York State Chemistry Regents exam. If a student misses a lab session, he or she needs to allocate time to complete a missed lab within one week of the missed lab. Students are also responsible for maintaining the laboratory folders and notebooks containing the laboratory reports. In addition, it is the student's responsibility to redo any laboratory report that is missing from their folder. What materials are recommended for this course? Two binders, four folders, the colors depend on whichever class you're in, pens of different colors, pencils, eraser, sharpener, a, third, a pen and pencil case, a 30 cm metric ruler, a non-graphing scientific calculator, college ruled paper, index cards, and a splash-proof goggle. What are some classroom expectations? Students are expected to attend classes and be present during every classroom session, including laboratory activities. If you are absent, you are required to provide a note from your parent which will be kept on file. Punctuality. Students are also expected to be on time. If you are late, you are required to present a late pass, which will also be kept on file. In addition, any student who is absent or late, for they are responsible for obtaining any classroom notes and other documents they might have missed. Being prepared. Coming to class with a chemistry reference table. All your materials. Ready to study. Behavior. Students are expected to treat the instructor and each other with respect. Students will be expected to raise their hands and when acknowledged, then ask or answer questions. Attitude. Students are expected to have a positive at attitude throughout the course. The cell phone policy. Students are not allowed to display a cell phone at any time, unless permission is granted by the instructor. Water and bathroom breaks. It is advised that you bring a bottle with water so you don't leave the room to go get water. This way you would not miss any information from the class. For the bathroom, you'll present a bathroom signal, giving a peace sign, and you'll be allowed to go to the bathroom. Studying. You're expected to study chemistry every day in order to keep up with the work. And finally, academic honesty. Cheating and plagiarism is not tolerated. You will receive a grade of zero and be reported to the administration. In addition, please refer to the grading policy of the school for the academic honesty. What is a grading policy? Tests accounts for 50%, quizzes 10%, homework 15%, laboratory activities and reports 15%, 
and finally participation 